May I present to you Amasia, Earth's next large supercontinent. In brand new research published in National Science Review from Australia, geoscience researchers have figured out that the oceanic plate in the Pacific is closing up. Plate tectonics is the study of the Earth in relation to the movement of both the continental and the oceanic plates. And over the last 50 years, scientists have actually managed to create a very reliable plate model for the Earth, which tracks the movements and the creation of all land masses across the Earth for the last 500 million years. And because the Earth never stops moving, the researchers were able to use the predictive capabilities of the model to see what would happen in the future. And they found that the Pacific Ocean, which moves at one inch per year, will slowly start to vanish, with Asia and America coming together, colliding into a brand new supercontinent. Throughout Earth's history, supercontinents are believed to have formed in vastly different ways, with two end members being introversion and extroversion. Introversion involves the closure of the internal oceans formed during the breakup of the previous supercontinent whereas extroversion involves the closure of the previous external superocean. Over the last two billion years, the Earth has had three main supercontinents. The first supercontinent was known as Nuna, and it came together around 1.8 billion years ago. Next came Rondinia. This existed about one billion years ago, and then the most recent one, Pangaea, came together about 300 million years ago. So what causes introversion and extroversion? And how are we so sure that it's extroversion which will create our next supercontinent? The researchers ran supercomputer simulations, including the strength of the lithosphere, which is often an overlooked variable in the emergence of the next supercontinent. Well, the oceanic plate has actually been weakening over time as a result of Earth's slow cooling. And it is the lowering of this yield strength of the oceanic plate which plays a critical role in determining the assembly path of the supercontinent. Using the simulations, they tested high yield strength and low yield strength and found that high yield strength leads to introversion assembly, whereas low strengths lead to extroversion assembly. In this way, the new study offered a glimpse of our planet some 200 to 300 million years from now, when an enormous landmass could unite over the ashes of the long-lived Pacific Ocean. Unfortunately, with how things have gone in the past, humans probably won't be around to witness this massive supercontinent. But if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, follow, leave some comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.